Today we're gonna to take a look at four cool things for under $40 for Nerve Hobbyists. And we're gonna try and do it in under four minutes as well. With that in mind, these are not full reviews of these items, just basic overviews because four minutes. And if it matters, I did pay for everything you see in this video. First up today is something that actually almost got its own separate video, but it fits so well with this premise that I had to do it here. And that is Captain Slug's Hyper. This is just a fun little blaster that costs $7 for the hardware kit if you have access to a 3D printer of your own, or $25 for a Build It Yourself kit with everything you need to put one together and get blasting. This is just a fun little hammer primed string powered blaster with a variety of power levels based on how you orient the elastic bands or how many of them you use. Now it's not going to be super high performance or anything like that. It's fun. It's it maxes out under 100 FPS from what I've seen, but it's still just so unique and interesting that I can't not love this blaster. And I think most of you will have fun with it as well. Next up, for those of you looking to add some accuracy to your blast with a scar barrel, take a look at the R scar from Armod 74. It comes in two size variants, the regular and the mini, which I have in my hand right now. They vary in price from $12 to $20, depending on whether you want it assembled and size, all of that. Now, there are plenty of scar barrel options on the market currently, and there's gonna be plenty more in the future. What I like about this one is it has a protective cap for your thread adjustment, which I love being able to do, lock it in and then close it back up and feel good about where it's at for the rest of the game. That is something unique and fun that I really enjoy. And I think it shows how creators in our hobby will always continue to innovate and create new fantastic things for us. Moving right along, for anything like me at games, you may not be the most careful with your gear and may toss it around a bit. And Talon Mags are no exception in this case. So when High Speed Foam came out with their Talon Mag bumpers, I was all over it. These are TPU flexible little bumpers for your Talon mags that just slide right on and have an extra pocket at the bottom of air that allows them to bounce and absorb the impact of that mag when you drop it on concrete. And after testing it, it worked and it actually deadened the impact a surprising amount. These run you $5 each or get five of them for $20. This was just a fun little surprise for me that I, I really enjoy and want to have uh, more of. So I'm gonna have to order more of them. It's a good way to actually kind of mark your mags as well if you don't have your name on them or, or other variety of things. So if you wanna give your mags that little extra bit of protection, definitely give these a look. Keeping on topic with Talon mags, let's move to our final item, which is the Extra Edge from Ton. These are mag extenders. So if you aren't a fan of the new curved Talon mags that bump capacity up to 18, you can actually just jump over that straight to 20 or 21. And the fact that these haven't existed until now is actually surprising when you think about it. Now these are available from a number of online retailers and they're gonna cost you five to six dollars on average, depending on whether you want the plus five or plus six variant. Plenty of colors to choose from. A couple things to note, obviously one of them, it extends not only the capacity, but the length of the mag. So keep that in mind for your mag carriers and their locations. But also when you're installing it, don't make the mistake I made and be too afraid of putting pressure on it. You will feel this slot into place properly and that will allow the follower to move freely and the spring to act the way it should. Now I can't wait to get back out in the field and have fun using everything from today's video. And on that note, was anything a surprise in the video today? And is there anything you think I should talk about in future videos? Let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you then.